so good morning uh, this is uh, venkana so many of you already know that actually i have been developing uh, the technical indicators for giving uh, better results uh, in the trading right uh, today i will be explaining one particular indicator and as well as the strategy with which uh, you can make more than 1000% in single day with option buying and the accuracy is very very high whenever it happens it never fails so that's why actually uh, you can uh, trust on this particular data and here actually i will give you the practical proofs also so two days actually when it happened and uh, so with what indicator we were able to identify the trade and uh, so it is uh, expected that actually usually it gives more than thousand percent on that particular day <coughs> usually that is how it is if it is an expiry day if it is non-expiry day it will give you at least a 500 percent on that particular day right so so this is actually i you know that actually i have been developing these uh, technical indicators so i am not suggesting you to take the trade and the risk and the reward everything is dependent on you so i am just actually for, for the educational purpose i am explaining these indicators uh, so the decision is yours whether you wanted to uh, use it or not and appropriately you think over and take the decision right but i can give you the practical proof uh, with the data uh, on the expiry days and non-expiry days actually I have uh, taken and usually actually this particular uh, uh, strategy works actually uh, not works uh, this particular strategy usually once in a month maximum it comes sometimes actually twice in a month but uh, regularly it won't come right whenever the big players actually uh, they wanted to manipulate the market that time actually this happens that we were able to identify easily with the data right so this happened on two days and one day actually on september 3rd actually uh, it happened and the second one uh, it happened on uh, 7th of october so two days actually there is a very big uh, uh, momentum actually on the positive side actually we have noticed but actually this indicator exactly pointed out the positive side on uh, the 7th of october but the candle was closed in the red so that i will explain with the proof right so first actually i will take a september 3rd which is a fin nifty expiry which is a tuesday on that particular day and so this is actually uh, i'll just go through this particular uh, indicators and the graph right see uh, this is actually uh, the fin nifty uh, intraday chart uh, for uh, september 3rd so i'll just actually remove all the indicators first and then actually we will see what happened on that particular day so this is actually only the graph right so i have uh, seen this actually uh, only the candles and on the candles i have mentioned uh, the volume of trades and and the, at the appropriate locations actually i have mentioned and you know that actually uh, the other indicators also you have to activate so that actually you will be able to identify the trend exactly and that day throughout the day from the morning 9 15 until the last minute it is only completely selling seems to be selling but actually it is a buying right so until actually 1354 is the last time actually they sold it and so but actually uh, they bought it internally completely right i'll just actually show you i'll turn on this uh, force and energy and the effect to buy or sell so these are the indicators actually which gives me what is aggressively happening inside the market so aggressively whether they are buying whether they are selling so retailers actually if they are selling these people will buy it retailers if they are buying these people will sell it that is how it usually it is right now actually if you notice throughout the day so it started actually somewhere around 23,750 at morning 9:15, and then actually finally it came to a location 23,600 which is 150 points actually a downside movement on uh, that expiry day so for fin nifty actually 150 is actually a good amount of a moment and that is an expiry day also but what happened inside if you notice the first candle is a selling candle why because it is a selling candle you see this so here actually you notice that the pink color yellow color and the red color so all these three bars together actually you can consider that as aggressive selling happening in that particular candle and in the very next candle also actually so this is your doji candle and so equally buying and selling almost equally happened 
and then actually on the next candle actually it happened uh, with a higher price so there is a buying actually that happened so why buying so whenever you find a green and purple so i am telling you two indicators has to be together then only actually we have to consider aggressive buying implies purple has to be there along with that either blue or green can come in so blue and green so if those comes along with purple color that you can consider as aggressive buying and if pink yellow and red so along with red either has to be pink or it has to be yellow if these two are coming together then actually you have to consider that as an aggressive selling that happened within that particular candle but the color of the candle doesn't matter for us so the color may be green but the candle color is green but essentially it might have happened the selling might have happened within that so in this, in this particular candle this is a green candle but aggressively selling happened within that particular candle how i consider that as aggressive selling is so that happens like actually market started at the bottom and it went to the high position then when it reached the high position they place an order which is lesser than the higher price so that actually there is a sell transaction that got executed at a little lower price than the higher topmost price so that time actually a huge quantity was sold at a lesser price than the topmost uh, point of the candle so but 90 percent of the candle is green during the top 10 percent of the candle uh, more sell transactions were executed that is the reason actually you have to consider that as a sell so and that depends on the number of transactions so that got executed at that particular location so all that matters a lot so like this actually if you notice throughout the day what happened is there is a aggressive buying happened when the market is slowly continuously moving down see this you you can notice that actually throughout the day either green and purple or yellow and purple actually you notice so here also yellow and purple is there and here also yellow purple green and so all the three coming together even more aggressively happening so if two are coming it is a buying and if three are coming that is green green blue and purple if these three are coming together then that is an aggressive buying actually that happened pink yellow and red if it is coming then actually you have to consider that as an aggressive selling that is happening within that particular candle now like this actually initially actually a buying and selling actually equally happens at this particular location from here onwards that is actually after this candle that is 948 onwards until this particular point actually there is an aggressive buying that happened so you notice that actually the size of the bars also actually increased at this particular location and here actually from this particular point onwards until this particular point aggressively only buying is happening if you notice what is happening is there is one big red candle and after that actually there is continuously buying actually that starts so like this actually even here also actually there is an aggressive buying actually that happened within the, this particular location right so this location also buying and this location is also buying and this location is also buying and this location is also actually buying so most of the times actually aggressively buying is happening throughout the day within small small candles so usually whenever uh, these uh, big players uh, they wanted to uh, accumulate it right what they do is actually within a small range they will confine the market and they gives an impression that actually market is going down and in that impression they will try to acquire more and more quantity so that actually eventually they will move the market upside and when they will move the market that also actually is an important point of understanding that is so they start moving the market only when there is a very big red candle actually that was there see to move the market upside they gives an impression that market will move down so that is why actually there is one big red candle will be there every will be in the panic situation that time actually they start buying it again they create a panic situation and slowly actually they will start move towards the upside right so when the market moves upside actually that we will get to know with this indicator see this so like this actually throughout the day uh, there is actually market actually buying keep on buying and here actually so, so here actually they sold it and here there is one big red candle you notice that so there is one big red candle and this red candle happened because they sold by offering very low price so that you will get to know this is actually 6635 which is this particular number if you notice then there is an aggressive selling actually that happened here aggressive selling meaning aggressive for us for them actually it is very small quantity because they acquire quantities in crores but for us actually 100 is also a very big number so that's why actually so they sell actually uh, a little higher quantity so that 
everybody thinks that actually the market is moving downside and from there actually they start moving upside right and that actually we will get to know if you turn on this mbs so that is the market buy sell so this is the yellow color graph actually you notice this right until this particular point actually as the retailers are actually keep on selling by offering lower price why because the market is in the downward trend that's why actually everybody thinks that actually market will move down and slowly actually they are offering so everybody uh, retailers actually offering lower price and these people are acquiring at that particular price level until this particular point until the last point is actually 1333 is the last point where actually they keep on acquired at lower price and then actually they started offering higher price so see this actually from here onwards so 1333 onwards in this graph is keep on going high so when this is going to happen is if they offer higher price then actually it keeps on goes higher and higher continuously actually it goes higher and higher like this and then actually suddenly there is one big red candle so they offered very cheap price and which is breaking the entire day low so see this actually this is the day low previously so this day low and here exactly so that is lowest point is 23623 is the lowest point and then actually they broke that particular point so that actually whoever kept the stop loss here that stop loss will be gone off right and they will have a very huge liquidity they, they will get it after hitting the, all the stop losses and they will buy that quantity then they will start moving it and that actually whether the market actually will continue further down or it will stop from there and takes the upturn that you will exactly know from this particular candle pay i'll just explain I'll enlarge this one and then actually i will explain see this so i'm just actually enlarging this so this is the strategy i'm talking about and see this actually this pair of this red candle and this green candle gives the confirmation that market will make an upward drastic move so this gives the confirmation so what is the characteristic of this particular uh, thing is see this here there is one particular red candle and the actual before that actually it hit the lowest point of that particular day and it is even the previous to previous day that is actually on so this is actually third right and second september low actually it broke and before that actually and the working day is actually 30th of august 30th of august actually yesterday uh, i have made one video there is very very huge buying actually that happened on 30th of august and exactly the lowest point of that particular day actually it hit at this particular location that lowest point is actually it hit at 1354 and that is actually somewhere around the lowest point is 23603 so that is the lowest point it hits exactly that uh, 30th of august lowest point and after that it reverted back and when it reverted back so they will be moving upward direction before actually moving the upward direction what they do is they will make a market sell order so first actually they make a market sell order and then actually immediately they buy offering a higher price this is the exact scenario when they start moving the market aggressively upside so they make a market sell order and then immediately very next candle actually they buy by offering a higher price and that gives the confirmation on this particular red candle and on this particular green candle so that is 1403 and 1406 these two candles actually gave me the confirmation that so it is making an upward move <clears throat> so that is the market sell order actually so you can notice that actually i can identify the market sell order like this there is a red candle on top of that particular red candle you will find the volume that is getting traded so when they sell at market right so whatever the price actually uh, they initiated the transaction there actually the volume gets accumulated but actually the price moves downside so that is the reason actually the market seller ratio it gives a uh, so transaction at this particular location but the entire body lies below that particular number so this is an indication for me when there is a market sell order and when they offer a higher price and then it will try to move the market upside and that you will get to know immediately the number actually that will be placed above this particular number so where the transaction happened right so this is the location where the transaction happened i am actually enlarging even here see this so this is the location actually the market sell order that was placed immediately they offered higher price so that actually whoever is selling they will buy it 
completely achieve the buy it. So they offer a price at this particular location. See, earlier I think the transaction is here. Now the transaction is at this particular location. If you notice, the number will be definitely bigger than this number. So this is 1,666 and this is actually 2,226. 2,326. 2,326 is this particular number, right? So see this, this is the location, 1,666 and this is actually 2,326 and these two comes in pay. That is very important one. These two comes in pay. They sell a market sell order and immediately they buy at higher price. And this is the confirmation for me. The market will make a drastic move. And then <coughs> what happens subsequently? That also you can get to know. What happens? So, so what they do is, this is a big player strategy. See this, after this happens, whenever actually the pair of candles actually market sell order, immediate buy order actually that got placed, right? What they do is immediately it moves a little higher and it takes the retracement until the high of the market sell order location. That is the high of this market sell order location is, that is, 2,300 sorry, uh, 23,641, that is the high. And then actually this red candle, so during the retracement, it came to this red, red candle. And then actually on this particular green candle, if you notice, it comes a little down and then actually it uh, moving up. And the location where exactly it came is, the lowest point is 23,640. And the high of this particular candle is 23,641. See. 23,641 is the high of this market sell order candle and it will definitely come to the high of that particular location. That is 23,640 is the lowest point actually it came to that particular location and then they start moving upwards and it won't stop from that particular location. If that is not happening, then actually you have to exit that trade with zero loss or with minimal profit. If that is not happening, then actually you have to exit obviously, right? So if that is happening, that is actually, it comes to that particular location and then actually revert, then actually it will never look back. And see this actually after this, see this continuously actually it moved from, that is 23,642 until the highest point actually it came to that particular location, 23,950 is the highest point actually it came to that particular location. That day, Fin Nifty expiry, I think uh, so the price was actually somewhere around 12 rupees or something like that uh, so that is the at the money uh, price level and that happened actually somewhere around uh, so this is actually if you notice on this particular red candle if you notice that is 14 18 14 18 is the time actually you have to take the uh, trade and that time actually uh, around uh, 15 rupees or 12 rupees I don't remember exactly and then actually it went actually almost like actually uh, on that day I have calculated somewhere around 14 times or 15 times actually the capital whatever you put it that will be multiplied. And this actually or with all these confirmations usually actually it won't fail. Usually it won't fail. And if you notice the other indicators it helps you whether the market will continue or actually whether the market will be stopped from that particular location. The indicator actually this MBS indicator it keeps on goes higher and higher. See this. From here onwards, it never look back. See this higher and higher price transactions keep on happening. See this this graph actually keep on going higher and higher. And after this particular green candle, then actually slowly actually they started disseminating or actually they started so uh, selling uh, slowly slowly at a higher price. So because the momentum is still going high, that's why actually what they do is they offer a better price and then it will sell more quantity again offer a higher price and then it will sell more quantity like that actually they will take and this actually not only this mbs graph if you notice this uh this graph, force energy and ebs graph if you notice continuously buying is happening within the market see this green and purple green and purple green and purple blue and purple blue and purple blue and purple blue purple blue purple everything is blue purple so until it continues that blue and purple or the green and purple then actually you can stay in the market or the other condition actually where actually you have to exit the, the market is if the number is coming at the bottom of the candle, then that is the time actually you have to exit irrespective of whether you are in the profit or loss. But by that time actually your profit will be very high because actually uh, 12 rupees or 13 rupees actually uh, it became somewhere around 200 rupees or something like that.
you got it so like that actually you can make actually uh, 1400 percent 1500 percent actually within one single trade and risk also very less because actually the amount what you are going to lose is the total amount you can put in that is 12 rupees or 13 rupees whatever you put it and this indicator actually it will tell you whether actually the market will continue or actually it will be stopped from that particular location then and there itself that's why actually you won't lose that 12 rupees also usually you will end up with a little profit or actually you may lose maximum of 50 percent of the capital whatever you put in and that is six rupees actually it might come down and after that actually you have to exit why because the market actually it gives the confirmation that whether it will continue or not so this way actually on that day actually it became a 14 times i, I believe so 14 times actually it believe and this is one kind of a job for trade actually usually i prefer and so whenever this happens uh, this tool exactly identifies that and this is actually the proper strategy planned by the institutional players that's why actually you were able to succeed in this particular one i will show you one more trade and uh, so that day actually that is the 7th of october actually and that happened on bank nifty bank nifty so that is actually uh, again actually that is tuesday i think it happened and uh, so i don't remember exact uh, day so on 7th of october right it will be monday right so monday actually it happened and exactly the same scenario what happened is and the earlier trade whatever i shown on fin nifty actually throughout the day actually there is a continuous buying actually that happened so that's why actually you can expect that actually market will never come back if it breaks upside and it closes above the higher uh, level of that particular day usually that is how it happens but 7th of october is a panic selling day so but the trade what i am suggesting is a buy trade even on the panic selling day and so i will explain the rules and regulations there so that is <clears throat> see this actually from the morning so it opened somewhere around 51 uh, 51700 and then actually it keeps on selling throughout the day so throughout the day actually it is keep on selling if you notice actually it is even at the location of 200 ema and volume weighted average price so volume weighted average price you notice that actually the volume weighted price actually is uh, acting as continuous resistance at that particular location right Vol volume weighted average price i will just move this video right okay so this is actually the volume weighted average. this blue color line is the volume weighted average price and this red color line is the 200 ema line and i will even use this actually uh, 20 ema line also i will use so this 20 ema line usually it acts as a support or resistance for the retracement usually that is how it is and see this actually there is a continuous selling continuous selling not just because the market is moving downside there is higher and higher volumes are getting traded at lower and lower price that you will notice that actually there is red and pink red and pink red and pink so so continuously yellow red pink actually you notice until this particular part and here actually there is a small retracement that's why actually they moved a little higher and again actually they started selling it here so this is selling red and pink red and pink red and pink and here also yellow and pink yellow and red yellow and red and again red and pink so like this actually it keeps on coming down then actually so it was decided that actually market will make a downward move because actually it already broke the bottom until that particular point and it came there then what happens is immediately they will take a retracement because actually the market is anyway going down so that's why actually they wanted to sell at a higher price because that is being a panic selling day that's why actually it moves to the volume weighted average price or actually 200 ema line it moves there and then actually there will be a drastic downside movement actually that happens on that particular day so it moved to that particular location if you notice whenever it hits the high or uh, previous high then actually there is a very high volume that is getting traded at this particular location see when it hits that particular point there is a big big rejection and there is very high volume that is if you notice for bank nifty actually this green candle the volume traded is 13,709 on this particular week actually it was traded 24,093 or something like that actually very big volume that gets traded at this particular location so it is expected that market will make a downward trend drastically from that particular location so because actually very high volume traded whenever it hits the previous high so obviously sellers are sitting over there so it is coming down from this particular location it, it happened somewhere around so 20 so 51500 so at that particular location actually it happened and suddenly actually it came from that particular location all the way below like this 
right? So it came to this particular location, 50,200. See, 51,500 to 50,200, that is, so 1,300 points actually it moved from this particular location. 1,300 points is very big for Bank Nifty on one particular day, right? But actually our trade lies at this particular location, our trade. So again, actually, so this is a continuously selling day. Nobody will take that actually up, upside, right? So because this is continuously selling day. Now, what they do is actually as it is continuously selling day, it is expected that the day candles also, it gives the downward trend. So that is the reason actually market is expected to go down further in the upcoming days also. That is why what they do is actually they take or they create an opportunity for them. And they will move, move the market upside and there actually they will sell their shares, whatever they have it, right? So that's what actually exactly happened uh, at this particular location. So this is the location actually. First, actually, whenever the market is trying to move upside, first, actually, they have to stop the market and they have to create a psychological barriers uh, for the retailers so that actually they can move the market easily upside. The psychological barrier, how they create is immediately, actually, whenever it hits, right? So they take the market until the previous high. That is the first step, actually, they take it. So until the previous high, actually, so if it is very close, it won't stop there. So which is a farther high, that actually they will take it. Usually actually the second highest point actually they consider. And the second highest point actually it reaches that particular location. There actually higher volume that is getting traded on the top of the week. Because when it reaches the high location, there actually they will sell it. That is usually a doji candle you will notice. So this is your doji candle. And that volume is definitely higher than the previous volume. That is 4,485 uh, 4, 4, and this is 5,656 right see this <clears throat> so here itself actually they started selling it so see this actually this is 11,468 this is 10,648 and this is 8,086 and this is 7,175 and this is 4,485 and this is 5,556 now if you notice carefully what happens here so here actually whenever it reaches this particular point actually the uh, higher volumes are getting traded at the top of the candle meaning so when the market is moving higher side, there actually they will keep a sell order, which is a bigger sell order. So that sell order will be hit and then actually it will come down. Again, actually some buyers will come in and again, actually they reach that particular location. They place a sell order over there and again, actually it will hit and again it will come down. And then actually they will stop for some time so that actually the market will be moved higher side and there actually again they will sell it. And that is how actually they plan to trade it. And here, so how actually you will get to know if you notice actually this volume getting traded on the green candle at the bottom so that means actually there is a negative tendency actually that was started so first time actually when it is moved upside they will sell it and after that what they do is they offer a cheaper price and then sell it so in both the cases actually it is only selling when the price is moved up they sell, sold it and they will offer a seller so lower price and again actually they move the market downside so because actually they can sell more quantity by offering cheaper price so for them actually it is not the profit so for the big players actually what they worry about more is is not about the profit or loss it is more of a liquidity actually they are uh, fear of because actually we retailers actually have to buy it if they sell it and have to sell it if they buy it so that means actually the psychological barriers are the only tricks actually they will use it so that actually you can easily so manipulated according to their wishes right so for that reason actually they off so when it reaches naturally to the higher price they will sell it and artificially they create yeah, say a lower point a location where actually they will sell it by offering cheaper price and more liquidity is traded on the top side that's why actually it will come and attach to the bottom location so that actually they can sell more quantity so that's exactly the strategy what they follow and then actually again so the negative tendency was started even on this green candle also the volume traded is at the bottom and on this higher candle actually so it reached the next high location directly there will be many stop losses will be there and there will be liquidity over there that's why actually it will be hit at that particular location and it stopped and again actually it came down like this right it came down like this and here exactly see this actually from here actually the market moved upside and it came down to that particular location then actually the trade lies at this particular location so for us actually it's an upside trade an upside trade lies at this particular location the condition is that it should not cross the bottom of this particular candle 
So then only actually you have to take the trade. And so it what happens is almost to near to this particular location. This is actually in the buy zone. We can consider this as a buy zone here. And here actually there is a red candle. In the previous also actually I have explained. The volume traded is on the top of the candle. The complete body will be bottom. So see this actually. So 300, sorry, 3425 is the volume that was traded here. And the complete body lies at the bottom. And the number will be completely on the top here. But the candle is completely red. And this happens actually almost near to the day low. That also you have to keep it in mind. This is the lowest point for that particular day. It should happen exactly at that particular location. And before that, if it crosses, so if it just touches the previous side, that is far more better. So it is a proper plan. So that is the proper plan is executed from here onwards. And if you notice, when they start the plan also, that we will get to know. So if you notice, this is actually 15,917 is the volume that was traded. That is on the top of this red candle, meaning the plan was started. Top of this particular red candle, meaning they offered a higher price and they sold it like market sell order at this particular location. That's why the body came to this particular location. And immediately when it reaches to the bottom location, they buy a huge quantity. So, so that actually they can stop the market from that particular location. For that actually, you notice that this is 19,042. This is 15,917. So this is 19,042. And this number actually implies that actually bigger quantity executed at the bottom location, meaning the market will be halt from that particular location. See, uh, don't worry about these numbers. This is not the volume. So I have calculated uh, with many factors considering according to the market needs. And that number actually you can interpret as volume, but it's not the volume, right? This is my own IP, I believe, right? So this is actually 19,042. 19, then actually it moved upside. Again, it came to that particular location near to this green candle. And there you notice that there is a market sell order. Immediately, they buy a huge quantity. So the market sell order is actually 3,425 and then actually 4,204, which is bigger than this particular number. And if you notice the volume traded is above this particular volume number. See this, this is actually 3,425 is at this particular location. This number is traded at 4,204 at this particular location, which is higher than this. If this pair of candles happens, then you have to wait for a jackpot trade. The jackpot trade is, see, first condition is it has to hit the lowest location of that particular day. Then actually it has to go back uh, to the previous side and it will come back. Again, actually, <clears throat> there will be a market sell order. Immediately, there is higher price offered by order. So this is higher price offered by order. Then market will go a little higher and it won't high, go to this particular high. Usually it will come back to the location where the maximum of this particular location is there. That is actually the maximum of this particular candle, the market sell order candle is so high is 50,501. 50,501 is the location. And then actually the lowest point actually it reached to that particular location is so lowest is 50,518. So it came to that particular location and there actually you have to take the trade. So immediately when it is coming to that particular location, you have to take this particular trade. So actually usually what I do is actually I will take it for bank nifty 20 points tolerance I will take it. For nifty actually I take a 5-10 points actually tolerance I will take it uh, before actually taking the trade. And it comes to that particular location then it will never look back. Right. And here actually and the condition is that if it crosses this bottom then actually it is better not to be in that particular trade. You have to exit with no loss, no profit. So no loss, no profit I am talking about. It's not about the loss. So if it crosses this bottom, still actually it hasn't crossed this particular bottom. So that's why actually there is very high possibility that actually the upward tendency will still continue, but don't wait in the trade. So when you come to zero loss, then actually you exit it, right? And then actually it came to this particular location, it reverted as expected, then actually it started moving. See this, from here actually 50,500 actually is the point actually it started moving. And then actually it moved all the way to, so this particular location that is actually 51,500. So 1000 points move actually upside uh, the bank nifty. So 1000 points move. If you notice actually, so there is continuously, uh, if you notice, Green and purple here, green and purple here, green and purple here, green and purple here, right? Continuously higher price actually it is offered and then actually it started moving. And when to exit? 
that also you have to know. See this, I gave the condition. When to exit? When the volume traded is at the bottom of the candle, which is a green candle, then there is the location you have to exit. Before actually starting any red, actually you have to exit it. And this is completely a momentum trading. So momentum actually 1000 points actually move on Monday. On Bank Nifty actually it gave I think 500% or something like that. But out of the many options you take it, one or two, uh, because that is not an expiry day, you can consider taking a little out of the money, 200 points out of the money if you take it. I think actually uh, it became a five times or six times uh, your capital, you can take it. But actually uh, make sure that actually you exit uh, before this particular uh, bottom of the candle if the number is present you exit because that is a selling day panic selling day it's not a buying day so the previous day i have explained actually on the third uh, of september actually that is a buying day that's why it won't come back so the tendency will be higher and higher continuously it will go but this tendency is to trap the retailers so that actually they can sell uh, their quantity so that is the reason for this particular trap you are taking the advantage don't be in the trade for long and that actually the condition is one is the number has to come at the bottom and it actually just touched the 200 EMA that is also a psychological barrier for many of the retailers and along with that so the momentum was started exactly at this particular location that is 51,500 and that's why actually it will come to that particular location then actually they will sell you got it so they got a higher price when it comes to that particular location so that is the reason actually it started from here again actually it came on all the way actually uh, whatever thousand points move actually it took and it came down and almost like 1100 points actually it again came down and it closed there right so that's why actually you have to be cautious if you are taking this counter trade even though it's a job for trade got it so these are the uh, two trades actually uh, you can consider and so like actually one trade actually uh, this one yeah, on the selling day actually i will explain uh, down the line how actually the selling opportunity can be made use uh, for a, a better profit so these are actually so this is actually a kind of a job for trade or actually you can consider that as so confidently you can be in the trade and so most of the times actually why we lose money is even though we know that actually market will move high or actually will give the profit for you but momentarily actually they move here and there up and down set that time actually we will get scared and then actually we will come out so that's actually uh, some most of the times we will come up with loss rather than the profit so the reason behind that is we don't know what is going to happen upside right so if you are able to know that actually what is going to happen in the very next candle then actually you can be in the trade right so this tool actually it helps you in identifying what is happening inside the market so if it is happening in favor to you then actually you can be in the trade if it is not happening in favor to you you can come out of that particular trade early so this is how actually you have to make use of this particular tool got it right so these are actually uh, so like this actually we have uh, these data points actually we can make use uh, for uh, our understanding purpose and then you can make use of this particular tool so i am starting a training session based on this particular tool and how actually you can make use of this particular tool for a better profit and to stay in the market actually how we have to make use of it so i am starting the training uh, from tomorrow if anybody is interested so they can come and register at uh, our website venkamesar.com and here actually uh, i just actually wanted to uh, let you know that actually the tool is organized into three different sections one is actually uh, for intraday options on indices that is nifty bank nifty fin nifty and sensex this is one thing actually uh, i have designed the tool for whatever i have explained is actually for intraday options trading on nifty bank nifty fin nifty and sensex right and the similar methodology whatever the methodology actually whatever i have explained and the indicators actually whatever i have developed actually i tested on multiple platforms and it worked across the globe i say that across the globe even on us equities also i have tested it is working very well and on the cryptocurrency also i have tested this methodology is working out and even the forex also i have tested the methodology is working out so this tool actually it works across the globe right because actually uh, whenever we wanted to develop something new right so we have to start the location where the problem was started right so then only actually we can do different things right obviously right if you are a follower you cannot do uh, different things you have to be an innovator actually so that actually you can do the different things so this tool actually originated from the fundamental thinking that is the supply demand principle actually is the fundamental foundation for this entire tool so nobody can cheat that supply demand principle 
even whether it is a big player or a small player actually anybody actually has to be abide by that supply demand principle because that is the ruling principle across the economy complete economy right so whether it is country economy or actually a stock market or actually one particular small marketplace also actually the supply demand principle is the one actually which will drive the prices upside or downside this tool is actually completely based on the supply demand principles and it will give you who is aggressive because actually volume the problem is the volume is actually suppose if 100 people are buying and 100 people are selling then actually the volume traded is 100 100 transactions now actually we cannot conclude whether it is buying or selling because 100 people bought it 100 people sold it then whether it is buying or selling nobody can state right because equally bought and equally sold so that actually it won't give you any information volume actually will not give you any information but what it will give is at what location this volume traded and is it aggressively by offering lower price than the current price it was traded or actually aggressively by offering higher price it was traded that gives the complete information for us right so the continuously higher price is offered and then actually bought it then actually it is a you can consider as aggressive buying but the volume is same and if continuously lower price actually is offered then actually it is aggressively selling who is aggressor so that is important for us right so and so the manipulation of the market actually by the big players actually what they do is actually so now usually actually with what intention they are moving that we have to understand i have given two scenarios today one is actually on 7th of september they intentionally wanted to move the market upside that is the reason throughout the day they bought it but 7th of october actually i have given one more example that is a panic selling day completely selling day the market will be moving down but we got an opportunity for the upside and here you have to be sure that why they are moving they wanted to trap only purpose is to trap so the trap actually to buy and move the market upside and again they sell a better quantity at that particular location and they will come back to that particular location and for that actually they have the liquidity issues so and one is a two reasons actually they will move the market one is actually they wanted to get a better price and the another is actually they wanted to get the liquidity so liquidity is a very big problem for the big players that is why actually they have to play all these gimmicks so in yesterday's uh, class also actually i have explained so how actually they wanted to make use of the opportunity for getting the liquidity got it so like this actually you can make use and the second uh, tool so this is actually the intraday options uh, for indices and the second tool actually this is for the positional trades and this positional trades actually i have included the indices along with the indices actually i have given all the stocks the top quality stocks so top quality stocks i mean whatever the stocks that are present within the nifty bank nifty fin nifty and sensex actually for all those things actually i have given the day charts and with the volume and the uh, who is aggressive so that is whether buyers are aggressive or sellers are aggressive on that particular day and this information actually you can make use uh, for taking the positional trades got it and here actually why you uh, see this actually from here actually you can consider that market will be falling why because see this <coughs> so on this particular candle higher price actually offered and 35 is the volume that was traded immediately so there is an engulfing candle and that engulfing candle trades with higher volume than the previous one that is actually 35 here and 43 here and the volume traded is definitely lower than the low of the previous candle meaning there is an aggressive selling that happened that's why market will come down after that particular day and that is the reason actually it came down like this got it so continuously it came down from that particular location and this is the proper uh, plan so that's why actually sometimes actually what they do is actually they sell market at market price at this particular location the same engulfing candle but the volume number will be on the top side that actually is purely the trap that is purely the trap right and that's why actually you cannot consider that particular uh, trade right so purely the trap actually you, uh, that you have to so that means the location of the trades actually is important for us right so like this actually this is the day candle and you can consider actually any particular suppose actually you take so here actually i have even mentioned uh, on which particular stocks actually higher volumes getting traded so those are the stocks actually that we have to keep an eye <coughs> so suppose actually i see that access bank actually uh, there is higher volume that is getting traded so i just actually i will just go to this access bank so access bank and this is the daily chart of the access bank and if you notice actually the volume that is getting traded is 42 on the bottom wick of the candle 
and before that actually which is a doji candle which is 18 is the volume that was traded and with the bottom wick here also bottom wick is there and here also bottom wick is there but bottom wick doesn't mean that actually market will move up bottom wick even the indication for the market to move down also see this actually by looking at this particular point actually so i am confident that actually so i use it only for the educational purpose not for tracking the trade so i am confident tomorrow actually on Mon monday right monday being tomorrow so it is expected that Ex access bank actually will take a red candle why because the volume traded is at the bottom the volume traded is higher than the previous volume so 18 is the volume here 42 is the volume here and the volume traded is actually tended to downside so by creating an impression that the market will move up they sold at high lower price and if you notice actually who is aggressive that is also here you will get to know so yellow and red color you notice this uh, here so yellow and red actually you notice this that means actually aggressively selling is happening within that particular candle it reached the previous high there actually higher volume is getting traded at the bottom of the candle so it is expected that market actually will take a little down from that particular location so mostly monday access bank will be a red candle got it so like this actually you can consider so this is actually for the uh, the positional trades if you wanted to take trades for uh, maybe one week or 10 days or 15 days like that this chart would be useful and another tool actually i have uh, developed is the equity <coughs> intraday equity so this is the intraday equity uh, trade and here actually so see this so this is how actually so intraday within one particular day how that particular stock is behaved and so whether aggressively buying is happening aggressively selling is happening and what are the volumes that are getting traded all those things actually you can get to know so i will just actually show you the same access bank itself see this so this is the access bank graph actually that happened actually yesterday and here actually most of the volume is uh, traded at this particular location so on this particular green candle actually most of the volume is getting traded that's why the volume is coming at the bottom side got it <coughs> right so here i think so there is a little uh, buying happened on this particular candle so aggressively actually bought it that's why i think the green candle went high right so that buying i told you right so there are actually uh, two things actually the market can move so one is actually they buy it to trap the users that is one thing to buy it to actually move the upside so there are two scenarios actually that you have to consider so if they wanted to move upside then actually there is a proper plan and they buy continuously throughout the day then actually they will move it and if they wanted to sell by moving to higher price then actually they immediately buy and move to the upper side and then actually they will sell from that particular location but it's so like this actually you can interpret this particular volume and these are the tools actually i will be uh, giving the training and if at all anybody is interested they can register from venkanasar.com and you can make use of this particular opportunity got it so this is about the tools got it yeah, that's all for today yeah thank you